a slip of the tongue or pen, forgetfulness, misplacement of objects, or other error thought to reveal unconscious wishes or attitudes. Let's copy this. Pataproxis. 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 When you slip up and say something you didn't mean to say, it may be a pataproxis, a mistake that reveals something hidden in your unconscious mind. It is more common to call a pataproxis a Freudian slip, a glitch in your memory, or a misspoken word that seems to expose an unconscious wish, fear, or conflict. Both the word pataproxis from the Latin peta, contrary, and the Greek praxis, a doing, contrary, doings. The term Freudian slip arose from the theories of Sigmund Freud, who invented psychoanalysis. Freud himself first called these slips faulty actions in German. Pataproxis. 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 A minor error in action, such as the slips of the tongue, suppo ooh, supposedly the result of repressed impulses. Pataproxis. Pataproxis. Pataproxia. Pataproxis. Pataproxis. An action in which one's conscious intention is not fully carried out, as in mislaying of objects, slips of the tongue, or pen, and pen, etc., thought to be generally due to a conflicting unconscious intention. <laughs> Pata praxis, a mistake, such as a slip of the tongue that reveals a concealed thought or motive. Pata, of, beyond, beside, near, abnormal, and correct. Praxis, the practical explanation, the synthesis of theory, practice, custom, a mistake such as a slip of the, oh, that's not CCO or anything, okay, Finn.